Welcome back. KCAL has been partnering with the Wyland Foundation for years to celebrate Earth Month each April. Thousands of people have been inspired to do their part to make the environment better. And joining us now is Steve Creech. He is the president of the Wyland Foundation. Welcome. Good to have you here. Thanks. It's great to be here. Uh, so what have you all been up to over the past year? Oh my gosh, where do we start? Well, you know, most people know the Wyland Foundation primarily because of the giant murals uh, yes. by Art Wyland, the artist. And uh, you can see those in Redondo Beach or the Long Beach Sports Arena all over the world. Uh, but we're really all about clean water and healthy oceans and what we can do to sustain those resources for the future. And uh, this year has been particularly busy for us. We've, we've done uh, water-wise park projects for communities to show people how they can landscape upstream and reduce their pollution runoff downstream. We've done uh, murals for the Smithsonian. We've done uh, projects in New London, Connecticut, even in Cuba, we did one yeah. for the National Aquarium there. And of course we have our clean water uh, uh, mobile learning center, which travels all over Southern California and teaches kids about uh, clean water and what we can all do to protect our environment. You're all doing so much good throughout yeah. the entire year, uh, but it is Earth Day. So why, why is Earth Day so important? Why is it important to recognize it, to kind of spread awareness about it? Well, you know, we celebrate uh, Earth Day and of course Earth Month with, with KCAL, mm -hmm. but Earth Month really was a recognition that uh, we only have one planet and uh, there's so much that we need to do to maintain this. There are so many people on planet Earth and there's, they're making more every day, I've been told. And, uh, <laughs> and, um, and so Earth Day is, it was a way of really recognizing on a local basis what was happening in our communities. Um, things have changed quite a bit since then, but uh, uh, it's really important that we recognize and celebrate it. Do you think the attitudes have changed since the advent of Earth Day in terms of people, you know, trying to do their part and and protect the environment? Oh God, uh, big time. Uh, people are much more environmentally conscious now. Um, the only difference is, whereas the first Earth Day, people were looking at local issues. Mm -hmm. uh, it's more of a global problem now, uh, our environment, particularly with climate change. And climate change really affects absolutely everything. Uh, the health of our waterways, um, our oceans, uh, biodiversity. Um, and of course, water scarcity, which is something we're very concerned about. So um, now is a time when, when it's more important than ever for people to engage with personal responsibility, but also get informed. Uh, becoming science literate is incredibly important now because the problems that we have are so much more complex. So we can't stress education enough to be mm -hmm. able to handle the problems that we're dealing with. And I mean, you talk about some of these uh, these issues and just being correspondents and reporters, we've covered, you know, fires and floods and hurricanes and tornadoes and all kinds of things that come from climate change and the effects of that. We talk about that a lot. Mm -hmm. um, so KCAL and KCBS are mm -hmm. in partnership with the Wyland Foundation. We have been for quite a while now. We're working on something very special. Can you tell us something about it? Uh, we can, and uh, we're calling this the Streams of Hope Earth Month One Project Challenge. It's a it's a mouthful, but the concept is uh, to get everybody in Southern California to do one project, one very simple project uh, for Earth Month, and that can be anything from uh, uh, cleaning up around your. Uh, your community, uh, planting a tree, uh, planting uh, natives. Uh, native plants are very important to our environment, but uh, we've developed a, a web application. It's on uh, KCAL News and at wylandfoundation.org. It's called wylandfoundation.org, my, uh, my water project. But it's everything anybody can need uh, to do a project. Not only can you do a project, you can start a, a team, uh, take on a bunch of projects, and so you can see the results. You can see how many uh, uh, pounds of of greenhouse gases you've reduced, um, uh, how many hazardous uh, materials you've cleaned out of your house. Uh, but the cool thing is, uh, for everybody that does a project, we do have a drawing. We like to give away prizes. You know, it's not always the most important thing, but um, it's fun to have an incentive. So we're giving away uh, a VIP weekend tickets for Beach Life Festival with Sting and Incubus and uh, Devo even, uh, <laughs> and uh, a Wyland painting. Uh, we've got uh, irrigation equipment from Toro, but uh, you go to uh, wylandfoundation.org, my water project. The other thing you can do is you can do a local cleanup and we have these really cool bags if uh, <laughs> yeah, those are, that's enough to sell anyone. And every little thing matters. Every little action that people take 
can it really add up? It so does, Steve, and that's the whole point of what we're doing here with KCAL, and just very proud of this partnership and uh, the the shared responsibility that the station's taking and working with the Boylan Foundation and we, all of our we, conservation partners. We appreciate it as well, and we're looking forward to it. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. And for more information on the Boylan Foundation and how to take part in Earth Month activities, check out our website, kcalnews.com.